Hello developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Node and React JS project, we will learn how we can integrate login API. In recent two videos, we learned that how we can create login API and how we can create login UI. And uh, in this video, we will integrate our uh, API, login API with the login UI. So first we will start with the Postman and we'll test our API with the Postman. Why we need to test our API with the Postman first? The answer is, so let's say you are a beginner and by error, you cannot identify that this is a front end issue or back end issue. If API is not working, then how will you identify, right? Because you are directly sending data from ReactJS. So there is a chances that maybe you are just making some mistakes or there's a chances that back end developer just made some mistakes. So for that, we can just uh, send the data from Postman because from there we cannot make any mistake because we just need to send some data from here and it, it should work fine, right? And uh, if this is working with the Postman, fine, then uh, we can integrate with the our application because that time if we are getting error, that means we just made some mistake because everything is working fine on a Postman. That means everything is working uh, fine on a backend also. So first we will test our API with the Postman. Then we will call uh, API on a button click on a login button click. We have a login function, login button. We will call our API here. After that, we will set some data to the local storage. We will redirect our page. We will update our navigation bar. We will test our complete flow, right? So now let's start with the first point and let me just remove this already tested API so that we can, I can show you from scratch. First, we have to select the Postman. Uh, method uh, API method my bad after that uh, you can just go with the raw data and select the JSON and here what we can do here we can provide our name so let's say sorry email will be peter at the rate test.com after that uh, let me add your password and it will be abc at the rate one two three if I'm just testing it, it should work fine, but I must have to provide the URL. This is our URL for API. And here you can see that we are getting 200 result. Here you can see that, right? And that is also fine. So that means our first point is complete. We can integrate our APIs. So now uh, we can just call our API inside this uh, login function. So let me uh, just remove this console we don't need it let's take a result and we are using fetch api method so what it will do it will return a promise that's why i just created this that function async and we can just simply make it await keyword right here and after that we can provide the url and that we can get from postman rather than typing because we can see the time with it all right and uh, this is a post method so we have to pass a second parameter here we have to pass first of all we have to pass a method it will be post then body and we cannot send the json body to the api we just have to convert to the string so just write here let me write here json dot stringify and here i can just make object and here i can send email and password all right after that what we can do here we can just simply provide here header also so i am just copying the header from the um, sign up file because we already written the same thing here right and we can save the time by it like this so now everything should work fine but again uh json will be not actually uh uh, result will not be a, in a JSON format. So we have to convert it in the JSON format. How we can convert it? Let me take a result and we have to use here result dot JSON and again it will return a promise. So to handle it, we can use await keyword. And now at last we can just try to console the result and we will check that what's we are, what we are getting inside our result. Okay, so let me just call here peter at the rate test.com and abc at the rate 123. Let me just type password again abc 
एट द रेट वन टू थ्री वेन एवर आई विल जस्ट क्लिक ऑन द लॉग इन यू कैन सी दैट वी आर गेटिंग डेटा ऑन नेटवर्क लॉग इन रिक्वेस्ट इज वर्किंग फाइन दिस इज अवर यू आर एल दिस इज अवर मैथड दिस इज अवर पे लोड एंड दिस इज अवर रिजल्ट राइट सो हेयर ए पेज इज वर्किंग फाइन बट देर मे बी ए केस लेट से वी आर जस्ट सेंडिंग अ रॉन्ग कडेंशियल्स रॉन्ग पासवर्ड और रॉन्ग ई मेल दैट टाइम वी विल गेट हेयर नो रिजल्ट फाउंड सो वी हैव टू शो सम एर एंड ऑल राइट इन दैट केस सो वट वी कैन डू हेयर वी कैन चेक हेयर इफ we have result dot name that means we are getting result and we can show here everything is working fine else we can just make alert right uh, in upcoming videos we can make a uh, any a decent ui to show the errors and all but for a moment i am just showing the alert here which is please enter correct details and let me hit it again and now you can see that we are getting a message great so in that case uh, we have to do two things first we have to store the data in local storage uh, because you can see that uh, whenever we are just creating the uh, register new that time we have to store the data so that we can just keep the user logged in so same thing we have to do here here and after that we have to navigate it to the home page So let me simply put here local storage dot set item or item name should be user. Actually, it must be user because in sign up also we use the user keys. They should they should be same. Otherwise, our login functionality will not work perfectly. After that, um, we can just convert this result in a stringify format again because in local storage we cannot store JSON data. We have to just convert in the string first. it should work fine after that we can redirect it to the login page sorry home page how we can do it we have to import the navigation hook from react router dom and our hook name is basically use navigate so let me take a const navigate use navigate or hook and now we can do that navigation and we can provide their path now it should work fine so let me just try to log in again uh, my another account is anil@test.com and password should be like say uh, 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 abc@123 whenever i will just click on login a user is here you can see that uh, that i stored in the local storage and we are reacted to the um, login page and now you can see that everything is working fine but there is an issue here you can see that we have the both link login and logout they should not be there only after login there should be only one menu which is uh, logout so how we can resolve it for that we have to go inside the nav bar and we have to update this uh, scenario so what i am going to do here i am just checking here again auth is auth is there then what we can do here, do here we can just simply use this uh, logout button right like this else um we can just use simply fragmentation and uh, then we can use these two uh, sign up and login two links again i have to add here link and let me use here login link also and i don't need these links so i can just remove them from here and now let's check out now we have only logout option so if i'm just clicking on a logout this should be removed the local storage data should be removed and it should go to the login page Uh, sorry sign up page but we can just go to the login page also right so let me try with the again anil@test.com and uh, i can simply just again put the password and this is working fine right that is good but still there is a way to go to the go on the login page so if i'm just putting here login still i can go on the login page it should not be the, like Look like this. So how we can change it for that? 
uh, we have to go on the login page and we have to check that like same with the sign up there if we have data in local storage then we cannot go on uh, login page right so let it just create the same thing here also so let me just uh, make a use effect and uh, inside it okay let me just use it like a component did mount and now i can make here a const which will be auth and we can check our local source data local storage uh, get item item should be item name is user i can check here if auth is here uh, we can redirect it we already just redirected the navigation here same thing we can use it like this we can format that and now if we are trying to go to on login page it should not work right so with that way we can just uh, create our uh, integrate our login api and uh, in next part i will just uh, add uh, add a logged in username and we will just update this uh, um, navigation bar also because if we cannot uh, we are not logged in and we cannot go to these menus so there is a no meaning to show these uh, menus right so we will remove them and uh, thank you for watching this video and please support me by like this video subscribe my channel and provide your valuable comments thank you so much